What's going on drivers and fellow CB enthusiasts, it's Jay Rich back again and today we're working on the Freightliner again. Uh, we are going for the best antenna in the best antenna location on this particular vehicle. A lot of people don't understand that not every antenna is suitable for every vehicle. There's a vast array of different styles of antennas. There's a vast array of different styles of vehicles. Now, originally the Freightliner came with uh, top mirror mounted antennas. Um, didn't really like it. Hard to get a good ground on them. Yeah, they are above the ground plane, but it's hard to get a good ground on them. So uh, the current location is on the mirror mounted low with a seven foot skip shooter it's a skip shooter is a really good antenna and I've already gotten flack for this because I put it out online that I was going to change the antenna location and um, you know I got a little feedback on hey you talked about how great these skip shooters are what's up you know so this is true skip shooters are great antennas for running this seven foot skip shooter where I have it it's not the best option out there. It's not the best location. And I wanted to try it before I changed it because the way the coax is run just like factory through the door, through the mirror hoop and everything like that. So I wanted to try, kind of try every option possible before I went where we're going now, which is back of the cab up high. So let me show you the antenna I'm talking about running is this Hustler uh, SCB. It's got a 24 inch stainless shaft with your standard 3 8 input. Uh, one of the good things about this antenna is that the top is spring loaded. So the whip can actually bend um, if it hits an obstacle or something like that. The whip is only about 24 inches itself, maybe 22. So um, because on the back of this truck, the height, the maximum height that I have is about 54 inches to get to 13.6. So this antenna being roughly right about four feet, um, it's gonna be a good choice. The, um, the coil is mounted high, um, which is good to get over the cab, over the horns. Um, it's not gonna be over the stacks, um, but they, it is far enough away from the stacks that it should not matter whatsoever. Um, now somebody, now, because I like my skip shooters so well, somebody's probably going to say, well, why don't you just do a four foot skip shooter, four and a half foot skip shooter, which is probably a great option. Um, and when I went to the CB shop yesterday, I tested out a few antennas. Uh, I did a Francis. I've got a four foot Francis. I've got a four foot fire stick. I got a five foot fire stick and with the fire stick, which I'm not going to, I would not run the fire stick anyways, um, mounted in this location because it's, it's going to break. You know, I, I just know it's going to break. I've had enough of them. It's going to break. So, but the fire stick will give me a good reference as to what the skip shooter would do because they're pretty close. I do believe skip shooter just surpasses fire stick just you know just by enough enough to enough for you to know the difference but um with all the testing that my cb guy did and he he knows tons more than i do um this antenna would outperform both of them um hustlers great brand tried and true they don't pay me they don't endorse me i have used hustler before um with good good results um not this particular model but uh with good results. So we're going up high on the cab. Um, another thing that I did get is these two 10 foot pieces of um, flat braid, one inch flat braid. They come pre-made with little ringlets on them already. Uh, these are quarter inch. They come with quarter inch on, on both sides. Um, however, 10 foot is a little more than what I need. So what I'm going to end up doing is chopping one end down. And if you will go to Home Depot 
you get these, um, they're, what are they, six gauge. Um, they have a six gauge hole, and you're going to take the, forgive me, you're going to take the plastic off of them, and they'll be like this, with six gauge hole. This ringlet's obviously too small, but you get the idea, because I need something bigger down on the frame than this quarter inch hole because frame bolts are bigger than quarter inch and we're going to do that um i got coax this is a rg8x uh, i've got a pretty good length here over 20 feet um so hopefully that's going to be plenty to run from the top inside the cab to the radio itself uh, i will have to make some ends put some ends on them and so let's go out here to the truck show you what i'm running now and let's look at the new location where we're going well hold everything i forgot something go on in hit that subscribe right down there in the corner give me a like and stay tuned to the end of the video where i got a little giveaway coming up stay tuned all right so here is the current setup which is a low mirror mount. Uh, the coax runs up in the mirror and down in the hoop, down through the door, into the cab, back up. Um, got two grounds. Got a half inch flat braid, which I meant to order one inch and well, I screwed it up. And then a, uh, a, a four gauge cable. Uh, both of them run down to the frame. Here is a Wilson uh, stud mount and seven foot skip shooter which i know if you can see it there is a red fire stick cap on the end of it that's just keeping them from rusting piece of pipe that keeps the base from flexing too much and uh yeah so seven foot skip shooter there let's uh go up to the back of the truck and once again we're using just a this is more of a grab bar mount um, or a small mirror hoop mount with a Wilson stainless um, stud. Here is the Hustler, which gets nice and way up above the cab. Uh, made this little bracket right here uh, for my uh, springs and stuff to hold my airlines, my hydraulic and all that. Uh, because I don't want these hooks up here sliding, um, which they really don't slide anyways. I have enough length on my uh, air supply. And the reason I don't want them up here sliding is because with the ground, I'm going to put the ground straps behind the nut right here on this side. I want it on this side so that it's closer to the antenna, not out here on this side where it's got a the ground needs to travel through the bolt through the thing through the cab all that crap it's going to be right here uh to the antenna itself and then i'm going to run the uh, ground straps one down each side down the rail and down to a bolt on the frame and we're going to do that on this side as well coax will be on this side as well I'll run down to that grab bar all the way down to the frame now the ground is gonna come down the um, grab, bar, grab bar. And then I do believe I'm gonna go right here to this shock bolt. I already cleaned this off a little bit, make sure we had good ground. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take this bolt out, uh, clean the paint off of the nut, off of the washer, uh, and off of the bolt itself uh, so we get a good ground. So we're gonna have one on this side, one over on the other side. Uh, I could go somewhere else like here. Uh, it's just a little bit of a pain to get to the back side uh, to get at these bolts. Uh, there's so much stuff running around. But as you see, there's not a lot of option right here to go to the frame um, except for this bolt right here. And the connectors that I showed you, um, we'll get them to work on, on those bolts. As far as running the coax, 
when when I put this out there online, somebody said something about drilling a hole through the cab. I'm not drilling a hole through the cab of this truck. This is not my truck to do that with. And I assume if you're watching this, this probably ain't your truck to do that with either. So gonna go from up there down the grab bar. Okay. Now we've got exhaust right here. It does get hot. The exhaust does have a heat shield on it. Uh, I have some protective wrap, some heat wrap. And if you look here, there's a heat shield right here that protects some other wires if that'll focus right. We're gonna run it inside there with the heat wrap on it. We're gonna come under the door. And see this plug right here? That plug is a water drain that opens up and I can run the coax in there. Remove the kick plate, run it up there, all the way up, all the way up to the top, to the can, to the radio. All right, so now you see how I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna do a little wardrobe change. I'm gonna work on this for a little bit uh, before it gets too hot out here, because God yeah, almighty, it's July in Georgia. It's hot and swampy. Uh, I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna bring you back in show you what we got stay with me all right so here's a little update of what we got so far we got the uh, coaxes on the mount um, it's running down with the ground strap here's a braided ground strap and if you look at the coax this is the heat wrap that i'm using um i had ordered actually ordered a sleeve a protective sleeve that goes over like this one here uh, but what they sent me was a um, It's a wrap that's sticky back. So it's got a uh, two or three wraps around it So it's gonna have good heat protection from the exhaust because you don't want to heat your coax up You know, that's just gonna cause you more problems and for these ground straps the place I got them from on online I'll put a link in the description um, Like I said, these are 10 foot. They have 5 foot 3 foot 18 inches 12 inches all pre-made and and at a really really fair price um really fair price so the outside's done now uh i went up underneath the cab here and right here there is a a uh, water drain hole that i snaked up through um and then in through the kick panel had to take this off and go all the way up uh into the overhead compartment and then there you see the coax coming down i just need to put the end on the inside here um which i'm gonna get in, in the truck and cut the ac on because whew man it's already swampy out here oh man all right look at me it's hot it's hot out here in georgia man sweating sweating so bad so i got about everything wrapped up and what i'm about to do now is to shorten the ground cables and I showed you that I got these uh, from Home Depot. They're a six gauge. Um, now, what I've had to do is enlarge the hole just slightly. Um, used a unibit or step bit to do that just up to the next size. And then take, take the plastic off to where I'm just using this and Got a little bit of heat shrink um, while I was at Home Depot. And so slide this onto your ground, slide this onto the end, crimp this, slide the heat shrink over, heat it up, and it looks great. So that's where we're at. Stay with me, we're almost done. All right, so we're at a little change of scenery, but uh, here's the end result. Got the Hustler uh, antenna up there, got my ground straps. Um, and with the ground straps like i said earlier leave them a little loose uh, because your cab does flex up and down um, the only issue i'm really having now is this uh this heat uh it's like heat tape or whatever but it's not staying it's uh it keeps opening up um yeah i uh, just got back from the cb shop did a little fine tuning things like that getting a great swr now i really don't like having the uh grounds and all that exposed I, I, I like my stuff hidden neat and tight 
but that's what it is all right so there you have it the end result is hustler antenna uh the int the coax length is actually 21 feet uh to reach from the radio to the antenna on the day cab uh that's with hiding the coax as much as possible and not drilling a hole in the back of the cab which don't get me started on people that do that so um the swr is down to uh 1.2 with that hustler antenna uh the it's got ground for days and days it's got ground um the the transmit and the receive is unbelievable uh with the seven foot skip shooter in the uh, location that I had it low on the mirror um, the best I heard was um, somebody saying like two miles behind me saying yeah I'm picking you up loud and clear um, today on the way back from the CB shop where we went and did some fine tuning and going everything over everything with a fine tooth comb making sure the radio is good the antenna is good the coax is great making sure all that stuff is great uh, I talked to the CB shop for six miles and he said, Hey, I, I got a customer. I got to go. Um, so I, he probably could have talked to me more. So that's six miles behind me. Um, and then in another spot, I'm back here in the woods in the hills and the trees and all that stuff. And I'm talking to somebody out seven miles to my side, seven to eight miles, at least from where he said he was at to where I was at. I know that's about the distance. So, um, probably goes a lot farther. I mean, it's got to, you know, if they're hearing me loud and clear and, and I'm coming over everybody else that's on, on the big road, um, I ain't doing too bad. So this is the best, I believe that it's going to get, um, the antenna makes so much of a difference. The location of the antenna makes so much of a difference. And I'm not talking bad about my skip shooters. I love my skip shooters. It's just, this truck is not the one for them. It's just not, you know. So, if you've made it with me this far, congratulations. All right guys, so for the giveaway, let's go over just a few rules. What you are gonna be getting is one of these two skip shooters. I'm giving both of them away, but one person gets one, another person gets another. How do you get these? First off, you must be in the 48 states of the United States. I'm not shipping these internationally. I don't wanna get into it. I don't wanna ship them internationally. I'm gonna ship them to you for free. I just don't wanna ship them internationally, go through any of that headache. None of that crap. You must already be a subscriber of the time that this video is posted. I'm going through at midnight tonight. I'm getting a whole list of everybody who subscribes to me. Those people will be eligible who have already subscribed to me. Um, next up, you must go to my Instagram. Link is in the description. Direct message me with your YouTube name and skip shooter antenna. Your YouTube name and skip shooter antenna so that I know what you're there for. Um, now, I believe I have to say that YouTube is not affiliated with this giveaway in any way, shape or form and release all liability from YouTube on the giveaway. Um, and skip shooter's not affiliated with it and where I got them from is not affiliated with it, blah, blah, blah. These are antennas that I bought on my own. I don't need them anymore as of right now. Um, so I want to give them to my subscribers. Uh, if you have not subscribed by the time this video uh, is posted, go ahead and subscribe anyway so you can be in for the next time I do a giveaway, which might be in a month, it might be in three months, six months, whatever. Um, but I already have something in mind that is not used. It is new, uh, that I do want to give away to one of my subscribers. If you want it, 
If you are not interested in seven foot skip shooters, please don't muddy up the water. Don't block somebody else from being able to, to uh, get a great antenna. Um, I, I do love these antennas. They're just not for my application at this time. Um, I could hold on to them, but uh, I want to do something nice and, and give these away to those of you who subscribe to me and watch my videos. Um, the next time I do a giveaway, it won't be announced just like this one wasn't until you clicked on the video and watched for a minute or so. Um, so therefore, you never know when it's going to come. And plus, when you announce a giveaway... Everybody comes out the woodworks. Uh, I mean, uh, Aunt Helen down down the street. Oh, I could win a skip shooter or anything. I'm going to get me one of those. Don't even know what it does. She ain't, she ain't got a clue. She just wants to win it. Those ain't the people I want in here. I want the people that are supporting me to have something nice. Um, and yes, I hope these are nice. So you must already be a subscriber. Uh, live in the... Blah, 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 blah. 48 of the United States, lower 48, whatever you, whatever you crazy Canadians call it, the lower 48, or maybe you're in Hawaii, you call it the upper 48, I don't know. Um, go to my Instagram, direct message me with your YouTube name. It's got to be your YouTube name so that it matches my subscriber list. So I can mark you off, put your number in the drawing, I will be using Google's random number generator doohickey thingy, and uh, that's how we're going to do it. That's the fairest way that I see to do it, um, even though there are some of you that I talk to on the regular. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm going to be fair about it, 100% straight up, and this is the fairest way I know to do it is let fate take it. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, like I said, stay tuned for future videos. Might be a giveaway in the next one. Might not, you know, but I appreciate you watching. I'm Jay Rich. You keep your knees in the breeze and the shiny side up. We'll be seeing you.